And then you have the, those who are asking uh, for reparations for colonialism, and they're wondering, you know, $100 billion, $24 billion here and there, $500 million there. Some people want to be paid back, and, uh, and members of the public are wondering, why are we suffering when you are, you know, you have all of this vast wealth? Those are legitimate concerns. Well, I think you're right about reparations in terms of if people want it, though, what they need to do is you always need to go back to the beginning of a supply chain. Where was the beginning of the supply chain? That was in Africa. And when that crossed the entire world, when the slavery was taking place, which was the first nation in the world that abolished sla uh, slavery? The first nation in the world to abolish it. It was started by William Wilberforce, was the British. And I think you're totally right. If reparations need to be paid, we need to go right back to the beginning of that supply chain and say, who was rounding up their own people and having them handcuffed in cages? Absolutely. That's where they should start. It's an interesting discussion, Hillary. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I was presented with an opportunity that I can't pass up at this network. And we have a new boss. He wants a morning show that will kick off the editorial direction of the network every single day. And I am honored that he asked me to do it. And for all of those who are out there saying, oh, he moved me and without my, he asked me and I said yes. I could have said no. So this is not someone moving me. And by the way, this is not someone saying you must move to the right, Don Lemon. You must not be so, um, give so much of your perspective. None of that has happened. All of that is fodder for Twitter, which is not real. So stop it. I was not demoted. None of that. This is an opportunity. This is a promotion. The people who are not getting vaccines who are believing the lies on the internet instead of science, it's time to start shaming them. What else? Or leave them behind. You know, what's that? You know what they, they get shots in nowadays? In their rear ends? They're getting shots to make it bigger. They're getting shots in their face. They don't know what's in Botox. When do you take that? That looks like something for middle school. Well, you take that when... Usually, listen, I'm not a doctor, and I'm going to let Dr. Reiner explain it in a little bit. Yeah. But usually when there is some issue or some concern about, um, you know, your cognitive abilities. So. Oh. What does it mean if you don't know an elephant from a rhino? An elephant? Well, you know, sorry. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do this. <laughs> Jesus. He's probably sitting at home laughing at me. Start killing us like that. <laughs> <laughs> saw on that video and I right. you said he was he made you perform oral sex right you you know there are ways not to perform oral sex if you oh want to do it. um i was kind of stoned at the time mm -hmm. and quite honestly that didn't even enter my mind mm -hmm. yeah. now i wish it would have right but Meaning the using of the teeth, mm -hmm. right? Yes, to, that's what I'm as a thinking here. Yeah, I didn't even think of it. Biting, yes. <laughs> I, I had to ask. Noah says, what else can you think about? Black hole, Bermuda Triangle. And then Deji says, huh, just like the movie Lost. And of course, it's also, they're also referencing the Twilight Zone, which has a very similar plot. That's what people are saying. I know it's preposterous, but it, is it preposterous, you think, Mary? A small black hole would suck in our entire universe, so we know it's not that. Bermuda Triangle is off in weather, and uh, Lost is a TV show. Paris, what's your, what do you think? I think this is fake news. This is this is not this is not a news story. Not okay, fault. Paris, hold on. Let that, me ask you this. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Let me it. ask you. This. I'm gonna let it's you not, finish. I'm gonna let you finish. Do you actually know what the definition of fake news is? What we're doing right now? No. Okay. Well, because then, this well, then, is not then this, you this are story. part of the fake news because you are on I'm the network and you're I'm, part of the no fake news. No, no, is when you I'm hang on. Let me explain story. to people out there watching and you what fake news is. Fake news is when you put out a story to intentionally deceive someone and you know that it is wrong. I don't think our founding fathers had these automatic weapons and military st style weapons in mind when the Second Amendment was drafted. The majority of private citizens are not allowed to own fully automatic weapons. It's for anyone. Okay, well, the gun law says that you and I can't just randomly go out and buy an automatic weapon, so let's deal with the facts here. A semi-automatic weapon is a gun that you and I are allowed to own, and in different places they have different rules. But to imply that anyone can walk out and buy an automatic weapon is just not true, Don. I think most people can go out and buy an automatic weapon. Well, Don, what is your, what is your definition, of an, auto, what is your definition of an automatic weapon? 
weapon. Well, for me, an automatic yeah, weapon I, is something I, that I, you can I'm shoot off a, a number of rounds, a number of rounds very quickly. I was able to buy Done. an AR-15 an, an AR within 20 minutes in a state from Done. which that I'm not a... And, you don't that know, in all resident. due respect, you don't know what you're talking about. An automatic weapon is when you pull the trigger one time and it continually shoots off, one after another after another. A semi-automatic weapon I, I means can you do have that to pull with the my trigger. A, I can do that with my AR-15.